Now, First Alert Weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. I was outside earlier today looking up at the trees and boy, those leaves were blowing. It is chilly and breezy. A great night for the cinnamon apple donuts at the Champlain Valley Fair. Good idea. I mean, it gets cool after yeah, the sun sets cool. yeah. and you're going to notice right. that over the next few days. Right now we have some sun showing through over Lake Champlain. There are clouds mixing in and that was the expectation that it would end up being a dry day, but some showers would linger over the Northeast Kingdom, and indeed that has played out. It's 65 right now in Burlington, but look at that stiff wind, a north-northwest wind at 18 miles per hour, and the gusts across the area are right around 25 miles per hour out of the north and west, so it's definitely a drier air mass that is settling in, and before that happens, we have the wind to contend with. Most of the showers have diminished now over the Northeast Kingdom in the last hour or so, but still a good amount of clouds over the Adirondacks. The sun is blending with the clouds in the valley locations. 65 in Burlington, but 51 right now in Saranac Lake, and there are some 70s on the map, 70 in Springfield and in Bennington. So overnight, it's still chilly. I don't think the wind completely settles down. So if you're stepping out, there will be a bit of a wind chill value. Hate to say it, but a wind chill value, perhaps in the upper 30s, as the wind will still be blowing up to 15 miles per hour. In terms of sunshine, though, we really start to increase the sun tomorrow. We start off with a blend of clouds and sun, but this is 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Eventually, the sun starts to dominate. It's one of those days where it's on the cool side, but the sky turns completely blue by later on, and I think the sky should be mainly clear by tomorrow night. So we'll call for the sun and clouds early, still breezy and cool, becoming brighter in the afternoon. The high is 63. That means much of the time we're in the 50s tomorrow, and some spots will not even get out of the 50s. Saranac Lake at 55 tomorrow. Look at the Northeast Kingdom stuck in the middle and upper 50s the entire time tomorrow. The Champlain Valley should manage lower 60s, also lower 60s in southern Vermont. So how about the start to Labor Day weekend, right? Saturday is the best day of the weekend in terms of sunshine. I think it's 100% sunny on Saturday, not even a cloud in the sky. You might think it's a little bit cool in the lower 70s, but watch what happens on Sunday. Some of this is Harvey's moisture overspreading the region. So I think it's pretty near a washout on Sunday if it isn't. The rain moves in around sunrise and lasts most of the day. I think we see cloudy conditions the whole day, and that'll keep us on the cool side. You've probably heard about the latest storm. It is a major hurricane, Irma, but it's out in the middle of nowhere, right over the open Atlantic Ocean. And right into early next week, it stays over the ocean. So it's no immediate threat to humans, but it does have a wind of 115 miles per hour, and it should only strengthen into a Category 4 storm just east of the Lesser Antilles by early next week. So nothing to get worried about yet, but certainly we'll look at it with an increasing focus going forward. Look at this forecast for the holiday weekend. Saturday, perfection, 72. I think Sunday is a really cool day. Some spots may be stuck in the 50s because we don't see any sun. The clouds sneak in before the sun comes up and then it rains the whole day. The good news is we clear out for Labor Day and it's a lot warmer. So if you think the 72 on Saturday is too cool, it's closer to 80 on Monday as sunshine blends with clouds. A few thunderstorms expected on Tuesday with lingering showers on Wednesday. That's my latest first alert forecast. Brian, back to you.